We've already done a few videos about local streaming with Moonlight and Sunshine. It's a very popular topic and almost every time someone mentioned Parsec as an alternative. I had not tried it before, but I had heard both positives and negatives about it. Let's find out how to set it up, test it on a few devices and finally do a quick comparison with Moonlight. Okay, so first of all, what is it and where do we get it? Parsec is a remote desktop solution. It sounds like an obvious thing, but it's important to acknowledge that even the company itself does not define it as a game streaming client, just like Moonlight does, even though it's an obvious use case for the software. Ultimately, I believe this shapes the actual experience. You can go to this address and download the free version. Yes, there are paid versions, but we don't need them for our game streaming purposes. You'll need a registration with Parsec in order to use the product. This is very much in the style of Tailscale and other similar products that we've used before, where you need to give an email and password, but in exchange, it simplifies the whole setup. Then you just run the app, and once you add your email and password, you'll be ready to go. For now, there are only two or three basic things to adjust. On the Host tab, change resolution to Keep Host Resolution. This mimics Moonlight behavior and allows you to play the games as they were natively playing on your PC. While you are here, you probably want to change the host name to something that you can identify a bit better. You can play with the bandwidth limit, but the default of 10 megabytes per second seems to be a good one to start testing the performance. Same with FPS, it defaults to 60. As far as the client tab, you can leave everything as it is, although you might probably want to hide the parsec button overlay. I won't since it's useful for testing purposes, but once you're happy with your settings, it should go off. Time to jump to any of your other devices. I tried three Android devices, a phone, a gaming handheld, and my TV with Google Streamer. Installing the app on the other devices was very straightforward. The connection was incredibly easy, as you just need to use the same email and password, and that's about it. The very first thing I noticed is that there's no option to have a game menu, the same way you do with Moonlight. Parsec just connects you to the desktop, and then you're on your own. This makes sense when you think it is supposed to be a remote desktop solution, not a gaming platform. Some people are improving this situation by installing a library manager on their PC, such as Playnight, which is fine, but really it's a whole different product with its own setup. I was also happy to see touch support, although, wait a minute, where's my mouse cursor? Looking at the screen on my host PC, I can see the cursor moving, but not on my client device. After a quick search, I found both the reason and the solution for this. When you connect with Parsec to a system that natively has no mouse device connected, then it becomes invisible. According to the devs, this is by design, as it's just mimicking what Windows does. But frankly, it totally sounds like a very poor excuse. No matter what Windows is doing natively, this situation hurts the user, and that's the only thing that should really matter. The solution is simple, but a bit ugly. You need to go to your host PC and in your mouse settings, add the trail for the mouse pointer. The shortest length will do. This makes it usable, but frankly, it speaks poorly about the product. The game in itself seems to be working quite well. I've always heard that Parsec was better for desktop applications and a bit worse for the game streaming quality, but honestly, I cannot see any difference between the output here and what I get from Moonlight. It's pretty much the same thing. If I try to use the touch support as a mouse, it also works well, although the click and drag, which is done by holding the touch and then dragging, was a bit of a hit or miss to me. It may very well be that I need to get used to it, but that was my experience. I tried a bunch of games, and they all worked very consistently on both my phone and my Odin light. No problems there. Here are some examples. Also, the amazing news are that this same setup works both on the local Wi-Fi and remotely without any changes. This is brilliant. If you expect a lot of remote connections, I will still invest on a VPN for security reasons, but that's a different matter. Then things got really hairy when I tried to use my TV with the Google TV streamer. Yes, the app is there and it connects fine, but there's no way to use the mouse cursor with a controller which is something very easy to do in Moonlight and it kinda defeats the purpose of playing from the TV. But wait, it got worse 
because then I connected my Bluetooth mouse and although the cursor was responsive, I couldn't make the button click to work, no matter what I did. I looked around the internet and apparently for mouse driven games, this is a known limitation of the app. No one mentioned problems on the desktop as I had though. It's very strange because Moonlight recognizes the mouse with no problems at all. All in all, the Parsec app for Android TV is clearly not ready. So just to summarize, let's make a comparison between Parsec and Moonlight with Sunshine exclusively for game streaming. Setup is clearly easier on Parsec, faster and more straightforward. UI is better on Moonlight, simply because there's a game menu. I will have to use a third party app with its own setup for Parsec. Streaming quality is pretty much on par. In both cases I got good quality, and I could go on and judge in a closer way, but frankly I just care from a gamer's perspective, and both are quite good. Finally, compatibility is simply worse on Parsec. You can't reliably play some games on Android TV, and having to change your Windows settings to see the mouse cursor is simply ridiculous. Ultimately, I think the fact that Parsec's main goal is to be used as a remote desktop makes it more appropriate for remote work, but less streamlined for gaming purposes. Well, so there you have it. A very quick video on how to set up Parsec and play remotely with it, and how it compares with Moonlight. I hope it helped. If it did, feel free to click like and subscribe. But even if you don't, thanks for watching and enjoy your gaming in a relaxed, relaxed setting. setting.